as much as you can, you don't want the drop off to be significant when your starter goes out to get a break. He hey, he had to go out and it's third and four. You don't want the guy going in there to be significantly, you know, lower talent level than him. So obviously you, you want to be able to develop guys that uh, are dependable. That's what we look for first. A lot of people think you it's talent. It's not talent. It's guys that are going to be in the right spot at the right time. You know exactly when they're going to be there. The system is going to get guys open. They may not get open for a long extended period of time, but they're going to get open for a point in time. Uh, but if they're not dependable and not doing what they're supposed to do, they're not going to be at the right time. And then you're going to see the quarterback do this, and then he gets sacked, and everybody's going to go, quarterback doesn't know what he's doing, offensive line's terrible. You know what it was? It was the receiver not being dependable, right? And nobody knows that, right? And so we're looking for guys out there that, that if they're not going to be the starters, then they must have to be dependable guys. And, you know, you don't have to have a tremendous talent level to be dependable. You can just be dependable and you got a shot, you know.